that super annoying? When you are about to watch something, you think it's about to be like house of highlights type situation. Oh my gosh! Bam! They go to something else. From now on, for the rest of this video, we'll finish everything that we start. That's the last time for sure. Got it. I wish I had spent the past six months like training just to like spin bats. If you do want to see me hit that computer with this baseball bat, which hasn't happened yet, by the way, if you do want to see that, you can scrub to this point in the video. But if you stick around, then you might just learn something that'll help you be more successful in remote learning. The question is, why is remote learning so difficult? Remote learning, virtual learning, online learning. Why is it so much more difficult than in person? If I'm sitting here and the class is sitting there, why is it so much harder for students to be successful in that type of environment? Remote learning is where the student and the educator or information source are not physically present in a traditional classroom environment. Information is relayed through technologies such as discussion boards, video conferencing, and online assessment. So here's the deal. We're doing everything in a different location. But that doesn't answer the question of why as human beings is it easier for us to learn when we're right in front of somebody. Some might say, it's, oh, well, they have to learn like the technology and learn the curriculum. Yeah, that's a part of it. But I think maybe there's something else. Maybe it's something that is a little bit more difficult than just the fact that we have to learn how to use Google or some other LMS along with learning, you know, slope intercept form or the American Revolution. So yeah, you can bounce to that amount of time in this video or you could stick it out and you can understand what are the two elements that relate to me as a human being and allow me to be successful in a remote learning situation. Where my lid? Am I, did you guys see the lid? Where did it go, George? Well, which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? Do you even think that remote learning is difficult? I mean, do you like remote learning? Let me know in the chat, somewhere in the comments, whatever internet thing you're on right now, on a scale of like, boogers you find under the car seat to Ariana Grande, how much do you enjoy remote learning. Maybe the reason some of us lean more towards the car seat than Ariana. Am I saying her name right? Ariana? Ariana? Ariana Grande. The reason some of us lean more towards the car seat side than the Miss Grande side is because it's something hardwired into us like a computer. See what I did there? By the end of this video, maybe we can figure out what'll help you stay connected to your classes so that you don't go full like Tom Cruise ghost protocol and disappear until your teacher emails you like three weeks in is like, yo bro, you haven't been in class in a while. What are you doing? So before I go King Griffey Jr. on that computer I had since college. On. Swung on and belted. Look, King Griffey Jr. This is a rookie card. Whatever. No flex, mad cap. What? No, that's not right. No flex. It's Tarver Academy logo. Whatever. Maybe the reason that you don't feel motivated in class is because it's something hardwired into you as a human being. If we can figure out the key things that keep us motivated, that make us successful, ha, then we can set the right goals, the right indicators to reach our maximum potential in our online classes. So before we go all Reese's Pieces on this computer, I need to go warm up. If you guys would, please watch the trailer for this new, new game show coming out. I'm gonna go drive to the ballpark. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Classic Bougie Ratchet. <laughs> All right, so let's just jump right in like somebody off the top of a high dive. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Woo, that was wild. As you guys know, this is where we give a situation and you tell if it's a classic bougie or ratchet. Here we go. So the first one, your teacher sets up for a seven hour Zoom class. Classic, bougie, or ratchet? Bougie. That's classic. That's right, classic. It's like pulling a car with a horse, am I right, guys? <laughs> Next one, giving a website and saying www. Okay. Here we go, drum roll, please. That's ratchet. Ratchet. That's right, 10 seconds I'll never get back. Next one, classic, bougie, or ratchet, using the school's headphones. Ratchet. Ratchet. Ratchet? That's right, it's ratchet. <laughs> I don't know where that girl ears been. That's gross. <laughs> Next on Classic Bougie Ratchet, 
The kid in class who knows the answer to everything. Uh, hello teacher, I know the answer. Call on me. <laughs> Bougie? Classic? Give me a little ratchet. bit of ratchet. What we were looking for was bougie, because that person's gonna be your boss someday. Check me on it, it's true, it's true. And that's been our episode of Classic Bougie Ratchet. Thank you guys for joining us, and as always, stay bougie out there, <laughs> am I right? And cut. Okay, seriously, why in the world am I in a pool? This makes no sense, it doesn't support anything that we're doing for the show. I mean, oh my goodness. How am I supposed to work like that? I don't have to be in the water. Water and a TV show. It's not even in the same ballpark. Before we get into the two things that make students successful, we've got to understand why aren't all students successful in it? It's like, it's like warm up. Like homework is practice. This is practice. We're talking about practice. Have you guys ever seen the videos where people can like flip the bat? Maybe with practice. Got some pictures being thrown to me from Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan over here. It's my dad. May or may not be Nolan Ryan. No big deal. I haven't hit a baseball in like 15 years. It should be fine. Ellen, you know you don't have to show where it lands. So one of the common misconceptions people have about students that do well is that it's always the smart kids. It's always the Hermione Grangers. That's not true. Oh man. So I was the principal of a school that had 6th through 12th grade students and we had online classes, we had in-person classes, and we had some blended. Not every student that did well was a smart kid. So we had students come into our school planning to do online that did well in the traditional classroom and they tanked. And then we had other students who failed an entire grade. You can lean up. And then we had other students who failed an entire grade they would come in and they would finish two grades in one year. What's the reason some of them did well in the traditional, but not online and vice versa? It's called an air mail. Probably could have been done. Double hit, you get two points for that one. So I started doing my doctorate degree online and I didn't feel connected. I did okay, but I was ready to quit. Every Sunday night when I was having to do the homework that was due Sunday night, because that's whenever apparently I do homework is right before it's due. Every time I was about to do that homework, I dreaded it. And I, I, don't, I don't say like, oh, I'm doing my doctorate. So I can say I'm doing my doctorate. Like I'm not trying to humble brag. I'm telling you that I was at the point in my educational career where school should have been fine. I should have been cranking through it, but why was I struggling? Why was I not wanting to go to class and get this degree done, this last degree I've got, why was I not wanting to get it finished? Why couldn't I just finish it, get done, and move on? Round the bases, if you will. Wow. So according to a 1975 study, there are two reasons students feel connected and will finish school. First one, academic reasons. And the second one, social reasons. Let's look at those, shall we? Home run. Boom! Ow! Elbow! Let's go hit that computer, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the bat. Yo, that Google Classroom slaps. When you think about it. Yeah, I know you guys are in a lot of Zoom class, but this one hits different. Yeah, 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 I'll check that email, no cap. Here's the deal, I know you're trying to keep it 100, but that last one was like keeping it 76. So let's, let's bring it up. Yo, that Google slide I made was the goat. Am I right, guys? Hashtag last dance. <laughs> y'all watch that? Yo, that Google doc you made was cash. Yeah, guys, low key, my principal, he shook. He be an extra. No cap. Was that a gaming keyboard? That's a flex, boy. Yo, I know you're saying I didn't give clear instructions, but I'm gonna clap back, RM. Jimmy, can you stop throwing some shade? Turn that video back on? Facebook. <laughs> TikTok though. So here's the deal. We're talking about social and academic goals. You have to have both. Wait, where's my bat? Bat me. Bat me. I'm Batman. Thank you. Okay, so here's the deal. You've got social and you've got academic goals. According to Tinto, not Tito, this is Tito. This is Tinto very easily to get them confused. So what Tinto found was that there are certain things that attribute to students dropping out, students not succeeding in academics. So let's start with the first one, academic goals. Students have to have clear reasons for completing the degree that they're taking. 
Woo. Do I look sweaty? What you need to do is you need to set clear academic goals. Here's my challenge to you. Write down three goals you have academically, either for one specific class, multiple classes, or your whole degree program, your whole level that you're trying to accomplish. Then find two people that you could put in a group text, because it's always stronger when there's three. I don't know why, I'm sure there's a theory on that, but it's always stronger when there's three. So I want you to take those three academic goals and put it in a group text with two other people. Tell them your goals, ask them their three goals, and then you three hold each other accountable. If it's just you trying to accomplish your goals, there's a good chance that you might not achieve those goals because there's no one else holding you accountable. Your teacher wants you to succeed, but they got a lot of other students they're trying to look for. Y'all ready for me to hit this thing? Well, oh wait, whoa, whoa, so I almost forgot. You've got the social as well. Okay, so you can, oh, I almost got hit in the face. So if we're talking about social, that's the community aspect. No, I'm not talking about the show community. Also, great show by the way. I see you, Donald Glover. Absolutely. We're talking about a community that you build in your classroom. Why this is harder online, virtual, remote, why it's harder there is because you are not sitting in the exact room with these people. Now you have your teacher and then you have 30 other buildings, 30 other facilities for that one class of 30 students, much less 150 students. So how do you feel connected with those students? It takes intentionality. It takes you focusing on having conversations with these people. Maybe that's following on Instagram. Maybe it's communicating in the discussion thread of Google Classroom. Whatever that is, you've got to find a way to get connected and find community within your class. It doesn't have to be every kid in the class that you find community with, but you've got to find it with some. It is time. We have a computer to hit. That's not right. A computer to hit. Uh we have a computer to hit. Wow, that was uh, different than I'd anticipated. Ready? Whoa! All day, all day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Today's video is brought to you by FBLA Arkansas. Thank you so much, FBLA Arkansas, for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you're with FBLA Arkansas, throw their name in the chat. I wanna say hello, say what's up, how you living, you're good. Also, today's video is brought to you by NLC College, the dopest college in the game. That's what's up. And lastly, Tarver Academy YouTube channel. The YouTube channel you're on right now. Hit that red subscribe button. If you haven't, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the red subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Work hard, have fun, and never stop learning.